Hi there, Wendy here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw Poppy Corn from Shopkins. So let's get started. With Poppy Corn, we're going to first start by drawing a long angle line. So I'm going to start by right here, and I'm just going to go all the way down. And this is going to be the side of the box. So say about that much. That's how tall I want my box to be. And then I'm going to go straight across to the other side and just give myself a point. So I just go right across, so about that wide, and I'm going to draw another angle line. So the opposite way, and just go all the way down. And we're going to come about right here, and so I know where to stop. Okay, so this line is a little bit wobblier. <laughs> we're going to try to make it straighter. Okay, so I got the two angle lines, and then I'm going to come up here, and there's going to be uh, five of these curves I'm going to draw for the top of the box. So since there's five, there's going to be one that's nicely in the center. So I'm going to start with the center so that everything is pretty much even. So in the center right here, I'm just going to go above this line that I've drawn right here at the point. I'm going to go a little bit higher, and but in the center right here, I'm going to draw a big curve. So something like that. And then from there, I can just um, measure out two curves to make it even. So I'm gonna come in here, draw one more and another one. So same thing on this side and connect it. So that way it's a little bit more even for the curves. And so then from there, let's finish off the box. I'm gonna come down here and just draw a straight line across if you're using a pencil. But since I'm using a sharp, I'm just gonna stop about right here and draw a big curve. So this is for the shoe area of the popcorn. And then I'm gonna go straight across. So another one about right here. And go straight across. So then I'm just gonna come in here and connect my line. So there, that's the basic shape. And then um, before we do, let's see here. Well, let's draw this part first then. Let's come to say about right here so we can break up the popcorn box. And I'm going to draw a curve. And so before I do that, let's say about right here is my highest point. I'm just gonna give myself a point right here in the center just to make it easier for me so I can see where my center is. So I know where my highest point is. And then I'm gonna go down from here. Just little tips make it a little bit easier. And then I'm gonna draw another one. Sometimes when you're drawing pretty big, it's not as easy and you need little points to just help you out. Okay. So there, I got a little curve to break up my box. And then right here, I'm gonna draw this circle. Right in the center towards the top, and draw a big circle. So it's going to be bigger than this curve that you made. So just come about right here. And so this is the logo that's on the box. So I'm just going to draw a wobbly circle. <laughs> and then come in here and draw another one smaller. So just follow your outside. There's just some days where my hands are just a little bit more steady and sometimes they're not. <laughs> so then in here, I'm gonna draw an S. So towards the center, I'm gonna come here and draw this curve for the top. And then I'm gonna draw another curve going the opposite way, touching this and swirling it back. So it's basically an S that we've drawn right there. And then now let's come in here and we're going to draw a line. So I'm going to come with this first line right here. I'm basically just going to follow my outside line. So same thing on this side. And then for the inside line, I'm going to go ahead and change the angle just very, very slightly. So both sides like that. So imagine it going through and in, touching all that part right there. Okay, so then from there, let's draw the popcorn. I'm gonna come up here and just simplify the popcorn. So I'm just gonna be drawing all these curves. So I'm gonna start by right here, and sometimes it's gonna be small, 
Sometimes it's gonna be big, just have fun with this. So it's just like popcorn, there's um, gonna be that center big curve and then there's the smaller ones on the side. So I'm just gonna come here and randomly just draw these curves. I go all the way back down. Now I come back in here and we're just gonna draw here and there one big curve, smaller one, and then say right here. So just to indicate that it is popcorn without having to draw all of them. So just come in here and randomly just draw these curves here and there. Okay, so then we've got that popcorn part in. some parts in a little bit okay so then now to bring it to life finally so I'm gonna to come to the sides right here and draw this big circle to give it some draw so cute eyes slash Shopkin eyes <laughs> so we're coming here on the other side and draw another circle okay and then come in here for a highlight big circle I mean two small circles and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top and the lines at the bottom. So same thing on this side. Two circles for highlights, curved line at the bottom, then shade in the top. and the lines at the bottom. Okay, now to make them Shopkin size, I'm gonna come up here and draw the lashes. So it's gonna be a thick angle line like that, and then two smaller ones that go this way. So same thing on the other side. Longer one this way, and then two smaller ones about right here. There, so then um, let's come up here. I'm gonna draw a curve line just to anchor my eyes. And then right here in the middle, I'm gonna draw a cute little smile. So a little curve, I'm gonna cap it off. And then add a curve, a deeper curve that kind of angles to the side a little bit and then a curve inside for the um, tongue. So then from there, we're gonna draw the hand. So I'm gonna come to the side right here and just draw a curve and bring it in. So same thing on the other side. Curve and bring it in. So there, poppy corn from Shopkins. Hope you guys love how it turned out and if you do, please give me a thumbs up and share it and remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.